Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's SQL Accounting System tutorial, I'll talk about sales invoice. Let's go to SQL Sales Module Invoice. When you sell something to your customer, then you need to invoice them. The first thing that you see is a listing of all the invoice that you have created before. You can use different criteria to search for one particular invoice. Example, invoice number. Just key the invoice number that you remember, sample 8, and you are able to search for the invoice. If you cannot remember the invoice number, maybe the company name, or let's say you want to use another criteria that is not inside here, what you can do is right click any column title, field chooser, and drag out the field that you want to use for searching, example phone, just drag. If you don't want, you can just drag, put that, or right click the column title, remove this column. Another way is you can see at the column title, most left hand side there is a small button with multiple line. Click on it, then you can click on the field that you want it to appear, phone, or untick it to make it disappear. Over here also, you can see that there is a formula stated click on it, you are able to change the formula. Maybe it's greater than, I want to search invoice that is greater, the amount is greater than 5,000. Then the system will help you to do a filtering. To create a new invoice, basically what you need to do is click on the new button. And over here you can search for customer. Everything will be settled within one page. Let's say I want to search a customer name, okay. So you can see that the system will actually automatically select for you. If when you type in the company name, nothing happened, meaning your focus of searching is at another column. Now it's at company name two, which is already wrong. So you don't want that, you want to use back company name. What you need to do is click on the tab key and your keyboard tab, you will move to another column, tab, move to another column, tab, go back to company name. So K, any letter that any company name that consists of the letter K will appear. This is because at the bottom over here the A is at the middle. If A is at the left hand side when you type K, so it will only search from the left hand side. So it depends on you. Just click on it, then you get your customer. Invoice number will appear using automatically. The next number will be 0010000. So let's say you want to use another number, you can manually override it or you change it during maintain the document number. You can have the date, change the date, agent or terms. So let's select an item. You can click on the plus sign if you want to. Then you can select the item. Same thing, no need to memorize the item code. If you prefer to use the description, just use the description. Okay, then you have more description. You can see column. Let's say over your side there's no more description, then you know what to do. Right click on the item, view chooser, pull out more description, then you can type all the more description it's unlimited. So we'll close it, save change, yes. And put in the quantity, unit price, discount if you want to give discount, no problem. Let's say you want to give 10% discount, just put in the 10, then with the percentage sign. Plus five ringgit, okay. Plus another five percent. So as you can see, SQL support unlimited level of discount. By putting in the percentage sign, then it will be a dis percentage discount. Without percentage percentage sign, it will be a amount discount. Okay. So any field that you don't want, right click, remove the column. Okay, and you can also pull out the account column. So by doing this, then you know that what is the double entry for the invoice. So let's say I save it. What happened is this is an invoice, it's a sales. So the double entry will be credit sales, debit customer. And to confirm that, you just right click, empty space, show double entry. So you can see that the system will automatically do the double entry for you. In actual, the sales invoice will post to 
customer emails we call it real-time posting and it already update your double entry your gl your pnl everything okay you do not need to manually do a batch posting okay it's direct so over here also you can keep extra information regarding this invoice you can attach anything that related to this invoice just click on the plus sign then you can attach a picture or document so system will create a link to that document or picture there's no limit on any file type because it's just creating a link meaning that if you remove the link or you move the document to another place then the link is not functionable so you can key in the note if you want to if you've got nothing else to do you're satisfied with that just click on save then you can either print this invoice or click on preview select the template that you want you can print it as well or convert to pdf which you can email to your client later so this invoice that we just created is 00100 what happened is it post to customer invoice as an accounting entry so why we do not want to key under customer invoice direct is because two things the first thing is because of stock quantity if you have stock control then you must key under sales invoice then only will have impact to your stock quantity another thing is if you preview like this this is accounting entry so if you look at the invoice format it is account code instead of the item or service i don't think your customer will accept something like this okay normally you key in direct key in over here is you have another way that doing billing instead of using sql doing billing then you can directly key under customer invoice example you have a pos system point of sale system then your point of sales is directly linked to SQL, then it may directly post to customer invoice. Another important thing that you must remember under sales invoice is if previously you have a delivery order, then when you create an invoice, you must transfer from delivery order. You cannot key again because else the system will deduct one time under delivery order, your stock quantity will deduct. And because you do not transfer over, invoice will deduct again. Then it will be double deductions. So your stock control will be incorrect. To transfer from DO, very simple. Right click invoice and transfer. Of course, if you have only quotation, then no problem. You can transfer from quotation or even sales order. And please remember again, if you have DO, you must transfer from DO. So very straightforward. Click on transfer from delivery order. Then click on the item you want to transfer okay or if you do not have this partially delivery module then you need to transfer the whole document okay i show you one time transfer the whole document okay of course you still can edit the quantity if you want to okay so Basically, this is the idea how you do sales invoice in SQL accounting system. Thank you for watching. Once again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.